Hey, what's up? It's your boy Big John, the 747, and I got my tattoo and employee shirt on. And um, what I really want to do with these tattoo diaries is um, I've seen a lot of TV shows and they show people that are getting tattoos at these tattoo shops and they're interviewing them and, and stuff like that. But what about the people that don't get them at tattoo shops? What if they get them in jail or prison or, you know, at a friend's house or whatever? All my work is professionally done. I've been tattooed by four people. Um, my first tattoo, though, was homemade. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I got it at my aunt's house uh, along with my cousins. Uh, I something for my grandma when she passed away. Uh, I've been tattooed by Doug Billen, Ron Rich, Vince Cardenas, and Gina Canales. Uh, I've been getting tattooed since 2009, and uh, I kind of amazed myself because I am terrified of needles. I remember as a kid getting shots, I would throw fits or, or do something at the doctor's office. I really hated them, uh, even to this day. Um, when I get my uh, my screenings for work and all that, it still it still freaks me out. Uh, I I have two sleeves and I have two socks uh, in color and black and gray. Um, these tattoos aren't anything to me, but I still do get nervous when uh, when I do get a tattoo. So, and on my on my uh, my tattoos, on my left leg I have um, I have a portrait of my grandma. I have a portrait of my dad. I have a rose. I have a couple of roses. Uh, I have. The main piece on my on my left leg is um, I have a loteria cards, and that's one of the things that 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 amazes you know people that they're like oh wow that's pretty cool because I mean it's a big part of, of Mexican culture you know uh, the loteria card uh, card game and um, my grandma's the one that actually got us into that my aunt still play uh, you know the loteria um, with the beans or the bottle caps or something like that so when I, I had seen it. Are you fucking serious? This is a motherfucker. I'm trying to make a video here. I ain't gonna edit that out. It's a real deal. We're here in the hood, San Gabriel. On the west side, you already know how we do. Those motherfuckers honking or fighting, our dogs barking. I'm surprised the dogs didn't bark right now. But anyway, like I was saying, back to the tattoos. Uh, I had seen it on a on a tattooed uh, thing on um, on Facebook, and I was like, oh wow, that's pretty badass. And I remember asking my boss if I could have uh, extra overtime or something so I could start this tattoo leg. Like, well, uh, the IRS had owed me a lot of money and I got a pretty nice check. And three days later, I'm already in the tattoo shop. And I went through a total of my left leg. I have about 12 hours invested. Uh, the total amount of money that I've spent on my two sleeves and my two socks, I'm up there about $5,000. That's how much I, I walk around with that's on me. And the good thing about that is that I'm taking it with me <laughs> everywhere I go. Even when I fucking die, I'm taking that ink with me. Um, so right now I'm going to show you uh, my, my leg and I'm, I'm going to do my left leg first, which probably is the most important to me. Um, all my tattoos mean something to me. It's not a flash off the wall that, that I was like, oh, okay, I want that. Uh, so each tattoo is something to me. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show it to you and explain what each and every tattoo is. Alright, so that was a, a, a quick view of my tattoos that I have um, on my leg. Uh, you notice the portrait of the lady. That's my grandma. She was, I want to say, in her 20s. And that, that original picture is from 1947. So I was told, my grandma is actually, I only got to meet her. Uh, that's my dad's mom. Uh, my mom's mom passed away before I was born. I've seen her in pictures and I've heard a lot of things about her, but I never had the pleasure of meeting her. So with my dad's mom, I was... You know, that's the only grandma that I knew growing up. Uh, you know, she always kept this in check and everything. And I miss her like crazy. Like, it's just, you know, it's just something that I've only had one, you know, and she was everything that I knew. Um, she passed away in 2007, you know, and uh, I miss her like crazy. <laughs> so I have another tattoo of my dad and um, he passed away in 2000. Um, in February of 2000, I was I was 15 when he passed away, and um, that was it was pretty crazy when he passed away. It was, you know, I didn't see it coming. Nobody did. Uh, he was diabetic, and you know he was going to dialysis and stuff like that. But you know, we never we never saw anything. Uh, he was never in the hospital um, with an illness or anything. And one day we we're just having dinner, and 
I went to my room, he went to his room, and and he passed away in his sleep. I heard him coughing. I, I went to go check on him, and he he wasn't responsive. And I, I think that is one of the craziest things that I've ever been through is like finding my dad dead in his room. And so I had to get the portrait of, of him. Like I miss him every day, like, like crazy. So I'm trying not to cry, but it is what it is. I'm just being real. Um, a lot of the other tattoos I have are the Loteria cards. I have uh, the scorpion and I have uh, that because of my mom and dad. And sister, the zodiacs are, are the scorpion. I have the heart, you know what I mean? You, I care a lot about a lot of people and I do a lot, even though sometimes I, I get in a mood and I'm like, man, fuck this and fuck that, you know? But at the end of the day, I do help them out. I do have a dog bone, I don't know if you saw it, it's kind of hard to see, but I had a, a Rottweiler, it was my mom's Rottweiler, and, and he was like the best, like the coolest dog I've ever known, uh, he was, I mean, he was a dog, you know what I mean, and he was just, he, I remember one time he, he got in for us, uh, this, this boxer tried to attack us, and out of nowhere Hercules just came through, so I, I had to get the dog bone for him. Uh, I have a rose with my last name. My grandma used to have all these rose bushes when we were little, and I don't know if my cousins remember this, but we used to always get scratched on it, or she would always say, like, ah, cuidado con los rosales, and, you know, tell us all this, not to break her roses, and sometimes our footballs would get in there um, and, and mess up her roses. Other one of the, the Loteria cards, I have the I have the borracho, and I have the, the musico. Well, the borracho, that's probably a, every one of us on a Friday or Saturday. Um, the musica, well, I am a DJ, so I do love music. Uh, I have the Dama, who doesn't love beautiful women? I have the Sirena. I'll let you think about that one. <laughs> I have the Rania, the, the frog. Uh, I heard it's good luck, you know. Uh, uh, I know it's big in Puerto Rico. You know, the frog is a big sign of, of being uh, good luck. I think out of all the, lo the Loteria cards that I have, uh, the one that would mean the most to me is... Um, is that Alvo, and uh, that's the tree. And before my dad passed away, he had planted these three trees in, in a property that we had, and the water hose wouldn't reach, right? So every day in the summer, I remember I would have to walk with some fucking three liters or gallons of water and water those things. And well, he would always tell me he wanted to build a house here, build a house there. And well, he passed away, and he never got to see them grow. And a few years ago, I drove by that the old neighborhood, and I, and I got to see the trees, and, and they were huge. And it was just, it was so awesome. It, it kind of was a, a cool moment and a sad moment. I never got, it's like I wanted to call my dad and tell him, hey dad, the trees are big. And you know, that was just, it, it was, uh, it, it was, I don't know, it was just a surreal moment, I guess. So I'm gonna keep this one short, but uh, I will be back. There's so much that I have to talk about about my tattoos, but this is just a quick one on me. But if there's people out there that have cool stories about uh, your tattoos, I would love to interview you. Uh, we can go have a drink or lunch or something, but guys, do not be shy. I really, really want to get this thing going uh, for, for YouTube and as for myself, because I know every tattoo has a story. So guys, if you want me to uh, interview you, please DM me, inbox, comment on my YouTube channel, anything, all right? I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.